1989, I was involved in a enterprise data modeling effort where there were a number of modelers trying to solve the problem of we have the same customer stored over and over and over again. And I thought, great, I'll get involved in this effort. And I was excited at first, and six months later, I was still a little bit excited. A year and a half went by, I was not that excited because the company spent $150 million on a data model without very tangible business results. So I said, we have to do something about this. We just have to. And that's when I said, wow, people were having meetings to discuss how to model addresses and how to model people and roles and how to model classifications of things and how to model things that we do all the time. So I said, there's just such a need for templates. So to further the industry, I said, we, we have to start developing template and reusable and we have to model more effectively. So basically in 1990, early 1990s, we started development of these universal data models and since then we've been through many iterations making them better and better. Well, people misunderstand something about these universal data models. They are designed as a jumpstart and to quality assure models. So if someone's, instead of starting with a blank piece of paper, let's start with some possibilities. Um, as well as, hey, if we have a model, let's check it with some models that have been through a, a lot, a lot of iterations and a lot of quality assurance to say, oh, let's check it against this model to see if we miss something. As a matter of fact, a lot of these models were based upon mistakes that we made. And then we said, let's not have others make the same type of mistakes. So what we can do is use it to jumpstart or quality assure the models. Now, with that said, they're designed to be customized. So it's not just like, here's the model, and even though it might appear to be a very extensive model, which, which they are, they're meant to be customized to organizations' specific requirements. Okay, so there's a, uh, one of the largest travel organizations in the world implemented this, uh, these universal data models as, uh, as, as one example of many companies that have done it. And um, what they were able to do was build an integrated data warehouse, integrated master data management system, integrated data management service saving a, a, a great deal of time on their modeling efforts and having a very high degree of quality. Now when I asked them what one of the greatest benefits were, they said it wasn't actually either one of those even though they did that. What they said the greatest benefit was help in political situations where people would argue about which model to use and then because these models are published in books, in the data model resource books, people can point and say, look, here's the model in the book. And sometimes we even give options of different ways to model in the book. And they said that was the greatest benefit to cut through political challenges and say, look, here's a way to do it. Uh, so in the end, they got tremendous business value by ab being able to see a much greater view, much more holistic view of their guests. By combining all these different sources, they could see data that they could never see before. And another aspect of the universal data models are they are holistic. So they're not only templates, they're holistic models. So they're designed to, so that you can see a complete profile of a person or an organization and all the roles that they play. So they might be a guest, they might be a referrer, they might be a website visitor. Either way, it all links to the same party. Uh, so that's one example of how our organization tremendously benefited by being able to see information that they couldn't see before 
and using that to be more connected with their customers and basically increasing revenue as a result of it. Well, um, in application development, it's a well-known philosophy that you're not going to start developing a routine from scratch. You pick up things off the shelf. Routines, and whatever we can, let's see if it fits. And you have one of three options. You use it as is, you use it and you customize it or tweak it. Or you say, you know what, this is very, very specific. I'm going to develop it completely custom. We should do the same thing in data model development. So I gave an example of a story of a company that spent $150 million, but many companies will spend tens of millions of dollars or millions of dollars or even hundreds of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars when they don't need to. They can say, look, we have these reusable components. Reuse has been proven to save a tremendous amount of time on application development, and part of application development is data model development. So it makes no sense at all not to have templates and reusable structures. Now the debate in template models often is, oh, I don't like template models because my business is specific. Uh, so that's absolutely true that businesses are specific and that's why I say, ah, let's have a library of hundreds of models that we can use and decide if we want to use it or not or how we want to customize it. So it only makes sense to learn from the past and reuse. Save time, increase quality. There's a number of data modeling tools on the market. What I had said was, you know, the tools themselves all have benefits. And ER Studio did have some benefits, like it seemed to be um, looking further ahead in the market. So doing things like business data modeling and conceptual modeling and linking that in addition to logical and physical, but that's not the main reason why I chose ER Studio. So the technology was good, but that wasn't the main reason. The main reason, frankly, was I like the people. <laughs> so the people that I'm working with, and by the way, I've been partners with Embarcadero for several years, and yourself, as well as many others, I just really appreciate working with you guys uh, and, and the people that have continued to be great partners. So thank you for that.